Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading. All right, Aquarius, thank you for all the uh, support you guys have been showing the channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started, Aquarius. This is the Archangel Raphael deck. Um, let's see what he has for you. Messages for... Okay. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you ask for, yes. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust any feelings as the accurate bar meter of truth. Okay. Okay. So whatever it is, the answer is yes. Messages for Aquarius, please, Divine. Oh, this one card. Messages for Aquarius, Divine. What mess messages do we have for Aquarius? You have professional assistance at the bottom of the deck. So if there's anything you need professional assistance with these two, if there's a legal case or something like that, yes, you will win. Great achievement. Okay. But this professional, uh, if something you wanted to know if something's going to work out. Huh. For some of you with these two cards, great achievement, teacher, professional assistant someone may come in to help you to help teach you something so you can achieve a goal that you want don't don't doubt yourself or anything like that okay because you have the um dark thoughts and in the uh, conscious of lack you have spirit guides family members and mentors that are here helping you okay uh, Aquarius Someone is professional is going to teach you something that's going to help you achieve this. But with this, uh, the great achievement one coming out, hold on, I'm looking, I'm on my cheat sheet. This is um, saying it is a time of great achievement. Work is the, your hard work is paying off, okay? And now you're going to start reaping the rewards of your efforts. And this could be within a creative project. Maybe you open to professional business yourself. Maybe you're teaching others. There's a form of uh, something professional you could be teaching others. But whatever it is, is going to succeed. So if you've been wanting to know that answer is like, is this going to work out even in a relationship? There's great achievement here because this card can indicate... Something concerning family or home or something like that, too. And um, but there's still work to do, though. So don't kick your feet up yet. Okay, Aquarius, there's still some work you have to put in. But you're you're getting there. You're getting to your goal. Let's see. Let's see, this is the romantic tarot I was using today. And I also got us some other cards that I'm going to pull out uh, use. You have the nine of pentacles, mm -hmm. the three of wands, the death card, and the moon card. And the flip out in reverse, seven of pentacles, <laughs> temperance, patience. You have two cards speaking of patience here. So something you've been working hard on, the four of cups and the king of swords. Something you've been working, putting a lot of work in planting your seeds, wanting it to grow. <clears throat> it's so, it could be something to do with the business is I'm getting that strong with all this here. It's going to, um, you're going to see, like receive some type of achievement in regards to that. Okay. And then look, the emperor, you have the six of wands recognition. So whatever work you're doing, you're going to be recognized for it. You've been contemplating, wondering if it's going to come. That's what this meditation is about. And something you ask the divine, maybe you prayed and asked the divine a question and they're saying, yes, it's coming. That's your answer. OK, so I know you've been waiting and probably that's what had you kind of a little stressed out, fearful, wondering if it's ever going to come. The divine is saying have a little bit more patience, but have it with a peace of mind, too, with the uh, with the temperance card. So it's like not to worry about it. Because your answer is yes, and this will be successful. You have the death card. Stop feeling rejected. Don't feel rejected, okay? Because things are transforming. You could be a little bored, but all this is going to transform, okay? Okay. 
if you've been fearing like whatever this is, you, it, it's a sense of logic that you have to go by. Like maybe you want something to f move quicker than is, is it, like realistically is not going to move that quick or just something like that. It's like some type of logic. You've been maybe having a lot of fearful thoughts because this king, I was just saying that to um, Libra, this king, half of his sword is cut off. So it's like some some truth that maybe you're not seeing the, the whole thing truthfully or maybe not thinking about it in this type of way. Something you're not thinking of is the reason, but you are protected in this time, okay? So there's nothing to fear. Could be a sense of something you don't like. You don't see, you see it coming. You don't know what to do with these two cards. What not what to do next. Let's get some more clarifiers. Please clarify this Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. For Aquarius, please. Queen of Pentacles. So whatever it is, you're definitely going to see it in your reality. Keep nurturing it and keep letting it grow with that's coming out. And look, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Because some of you guys are going to receive like just as... A large windfall, it could be of finances or just something stable. Whatever this is, it is stable for sure. Three of Wands with the um, temperance card, please, divine. Okay. If you've been conflicted with this Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords, if you've been conflicted, some clarity is going to come in. Don't worry because it's coming. Whatever this is, is coming in. Like kind of, they're saying like kind of chill out. Maybe, you know, you're over worrying a little bit. Okay, trust in the divine. Have faith, it's coming. You probably heard that a lot too. <laughs> uh, death card with the four of cups, please divine. Just flew out in reverse. Okay, so this is the chariot in reverse. Um, with that coming out with the death card is a good thing because it's saying that where things were, it wasn't moving fast, it may pick up. You're going to see a large transformation. And that's where this four of cups been. You've been kind of bored, discontent with how things are going. You could have been discontent because it wasn't moving quick enough for you or it wasn't moving quickly, even though you were doing all that you could do at this very time to kind of move this along. Have patience, have a peace of mind because it is going to move forward. Right now, things are transforming. So what wasn't moving is transforming in a, in this, and it's going to start moving forward, okay? This is what you've been thinking about. What can I do next? You see how this lady look like she's thinking? No, it seems like you've been kind of thinking about what can you do next. And the vine is saying what you can do is kind of have a little patience. Keep doing what you're doing, though. I don't like the way that flew out. We're going to keep going. Divine. This is Moon card and the King of Swords. This could be just your energy having like fearful thoughts. I did just see. There we go. So you've been wondering about your stability, the stability of a project, the stability of a relationship. But something has you stuck in your head. Clarity. Look, you have two new beginnings coming. Three new. Wow. So for some of you, this has something to do with a relationship. Finances and work, too. You have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. This is a lot of energy coming your way. <laughs> I feel like you know it's coming. You just don't know when, and that's what the, the worry is. Like, will it come soon enough, soon enough? I keep getting that with a lot of... This is like the third sign that I'm done, and it seems like every, like a lot of stuff is coming in where, where you once worked hard, and you've been working on maybe a business, a project, or just trying to move up in life. That's coming towards you and a stable relationship. Let's get some more clarifiers. Right. I feel like this is dominantly business here. And then we move here. It's like a relationship was transforming too. And look, you have... Okay. Let's 
car is kind of little. Hold on, let's see. So you have not today, and that's that patience. This is not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary. So if this is in regards to a relationship, it's not the right time. But I'm taking this more even with if this is business, it's not the right time for things to kind of pick up. And that's why the seven of pentacles is here. Things are still growing. It's not time yet. Someone expresses love, someone that you've been waiting for to come in. And you may have been kind of messed up in your head about it this person someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know so this person is going to come talk to you and let you know this is a soulmate here things wasn't moving forward but both of you guys had to transform maybe you had to learn how to um one of you guys it was except that things is not going to go exactly how you want it to separation thinking of you thinking of thinking about you yearning you unfor sure of the future that's this fear <clears throat> but this person is thinking about you okay see under not today you got the grim reaper so there's a point to where you thought that things wasn't going to come like this card says where the relationship is over no sense second chances grow and transform your life that's the way uh th this person maybe have thought you felt or that's the way you were feeling like things wasn't going to come into your reality, but they are. Breaking up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. I feel like with this here, next to the uh, temperance card, it was kind of like there was lessons that need to be learned with this five of swords. Like, stop replaying things over, stop the pattern, of, uh, constantly thinking negative too. Then you have coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So where it was slow, it's transitioning to move fast. You're going to feel liberated when this happened too. Because so I feel like you put a lot of work into a connection in this person too. Some of you guys, if this is business, you may find a business partnership. And then addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling had a, has a block. So there was a block here until things grew. Learn from the past is at the bottom. So there was a chance. There's a chance that you can learn from the situation so it won't happen again because you have a beautiful new beginning coming. And with that new beginning, you have the ability to create a lot, create, make great achievements. And yes, you have the ability to do it. And it's coming together. It's just patience. Uh, Aquarius, I hope I haven't called you guys another sign this whole time. Let me get you a love message. And I mean... A love whisper card that we're going to enter reading. That could be why that card is cut too. There was a block. It could have been a, like a block in communication for a while. You guys wasn't seeing eye to eye, especially with the moon card there. It is important to love others deeply. Treasure your loved ones. And at the bottom of the deck, you got action. Speak loudly. Express your love through actions, okay? Queries, and this could even be like in work. You could say you love your job, just uh, showing it through your uh, actions, the steps you take, okay, Aquarius? This is what I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.